Hey folks, this is an introduction to angles and their measures from our chapter 9.1. Just go through a little bit of terminology right off the bat here. Uh, when we have an angle that is in standard position, every angle will have two parts. One is the initial side and one is the terminal side. The initial side is always going to lie along the positive x-axis. So you can go ahead and put a ray there on the positive x-axis and the terminal side what you're going to do is you're going to rotate that initial side and wherever you stop will be the terminal side so if I were to maybe rotate in a counterclockwise direction wherever I stop this is going to be where my terminal side occurs you can rotate in either a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction if you rotate in a counterclockwise direction, it is going to be a positive angle and a negative angle will be uh, gotten when you rotate in a clockwise direction. Now, just some high school geometry terminology that you probably remember. When you are measuring angles in degrees, you have several terms here that talk about the size of the angle. So first of all, an acute angle, we know that this is an angle that's smaller than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is larger than 90, um, but it's also smaller than 180. And a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees.